Hello everyone. I've already got the resin mixed up. I just got to pour it into the cups for uh, getting the colors. I hope I have my cups big enough. I might grab actually some bigger ones here. Just to be safe. some small ones too. Let's see these. The hundred milliliters. Leave the rest is clear. Try to catch this runoff drip. This is why these are supposed to be covering. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be using pinata ink um, in sangria color. Um, this is alcohol ink, and I've got it decanted in a smaller bottle to be able to. Make sure I don't do too much because that thing pours and it's really, really messy. I'm going to try the dragon scale technique in a red and black color in this uh, pen holder mold. Um, Marva on Marvelous Artsy uh, did this last night and I absolutely loved it. This is, I saw um, Glitz and Glitter do this. Uh, fairly recently too and um, but they did it a bit differently but it was the pen mold so I'm gonna and the nozzle's a little stuck so I'm gonna have to carefully try and pour out just a few drops Not an actual awful mess. That's a first so far. Probably have to add some more. We'll see. good color. So that one's done. I'll set it over out of the way for a minute. And next is going to be some black mica. I'm 
come out of both ends. And this is Let's Resin's uh, Black Mica. And this is for the uh, Dragon Scale Technique in the pen holder mold to match. I don't know if you can see, but I'll try and remember to show the skull that I did last year, year before that. Um, which is the the red and um, I think it was ghost silver that I had actually brushed into the mold and then I just poured the, the red mica behind it. I know the black always looks a little more on the gray side than actual black. I really wish they didn't make these cups with lines on the inside. It makes it harder to clean them out. It gets resin and colorant stuck in the lines. start with first. Come on, just one little more drop.
if I'm going to be trying to set this down without spilling. Black another stir. Hope this comes out more red than black because I really want it more on the red side. Marvelous Artsy did a uh, gorgeous uh, purple and uh, gray, which this is looking more like gray than black. And as soon as I got the mold, which arrived yesterday, I wanted to do the same thing. I just wanted my colors, which is this uh, really deep red. May have to do another layer, but we'll see if we can get it with this. Got a little more clear left here. Let's try this. So we can get it right up to the top.
and not drip. Thank you. That one's done. And I need some tool. These don't come out. Try and get the colors and stuff off from here. need a little top up. Not that much, not that much. Stop, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured. You're done. Come over here to cure. Y'all are open and you're covered. Good. Clean off. And nothing left in either one of y'all. I do have some black. Finish off this moon. Don't know if the moon's in in view or not. I apologize about that. Just trying to use up the rest of this little excess resin. Don't like waste. Try and use up as much as I can possibly get out of these.
let these all cure and um, let's see if I can get this to gently move over here. Top that one off. I had started it the other day with just some clear, so it's going to have some unusual coloring when it is done. Thank you, and we'll see when it's time to unmold these um, after about 24 hours. Bye. Everything's all uh, set. Let's see how it's all uh, turned out. colors on the back. Mix the black a little better. I've got some that fell, but we definitely got the dragon scale effect. A couple of my bubbles. I won't be putting this together today. I'm going to let it sit and harden up a bit more. Yep, definitely needed to mix my black in better. I got spots where it fell down, but that is gorgeous. Came out a bit darker than this, but this one I did a couple of years ago and I actually painted or brushed the mica on and then I brushed a uh, ghost silver on and then I poured with a black mica underneath. So brushing on gives a little bit lighter color, not quite as dark as when you're actually, you know, mixing it directly in the resin to give a real brilliant color. And I might not have had Bloody Mary back then. I think I had a different color. I think that might have been the um, dragon's breath on the skull. But this was my first little pin holder I did. This is I made this like two years ago. And the colors that I used were the um, Pinata Sangria for the alcohol ink in the translucent. That's resin black, which turned out, you know, really gray, just a darker gray. And then Bloody Mary. I got this on Etsy. I don't recall the company's name. I've had it for well over a year. But this is Let's Resins Black Jacquard Pinatas Sangria. And I wanted a really dark red color that, you know, looked like blood. Because I'm a horror fan. So I like my, my colors black and red. Let's see. These ones I just did in the translucent. Yep, 
Yep, I'll have to get the deburring tool after I let these set a bit longer, and then I'll, after I let these set for a few more days, then I'll put them together. I like things to to set for at least a week before I go assembling pieces. That way they get longer cure times. And with the humidity here, that sometimes makes things take longer to harden up and stiffen up. There's the little feet that'll go on the bottom. I'll have to get some uh, super glue because I'm out of that too right now. So I'll have to get some super glue in order to put this together and let it sit a few days and then we can uh, put it together. And with the spare, I didn't pour this one on camera, but this was a uh, brain mold that I got off of Timu. So I'll be putting this into a skull later, not the one I currently have going, because that's still got uh, polyester um, resin, which is white, so you would never see this. I'll do this in a clear one. I'll uh, sand the edges and get them a uh, adhered a little better, make sure it's stuck together really well. So that was cool because it's actually a two-piece mold. So it does both halves. Most of the time you just get the single, which is just the top half, which is the one I had, and it's smaller too. So this one actually makes a bigger one, and I like this. So this was a good find on Timu for this one. So we're the Pinholder mold is also from Timu. Other than some of the stuff comes in squished and folded in half, which can damage mold sometimes. Um, and I've had things broken or the bags are crammed so full that they're split open and I had a lot of stuff missing out of my last package. It's one of the downsides to Timu, but they are... Uh, working it on um, doing a refund on the couple of things that were missing out of my package. So that's a lot better than other places that I've dealt with. This is, you know, a two part. I had multiples left over from a couple of pours. So the first one was clear from a few days ago. And then the last was the last little bit of black and red. For the little moon. And these are going to go on the skull, clear skull, when I make it. So I'm going to have a brain inside, and I missed the spot. So I missed a corner of the horn. Must have had a bubble down there. Let's see how this other one come out. Yep. Gonna have to work, probably gonna have to redo these because they're missing the tips. Probably in a darker red, too. That translucent red gives it kind of sort of sometimes a brownish color. Wouldn't fit on you, but. <laughs> All right, hold still. Quit bouncing around. This one I'm not going to unmold the couple of bits that I had poured into there. When I get some more leftovers, I'll pour it into here as long as it's a clear translucent type color. And some of the pieces that popped off fell down inside.
Well, I hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching. And like I said, um, I'll probably go ahead and upload this video and at a later time add, see how to add a photo to the end for when I put it all together. Um, sorry, brain just went blank. <laughs> I won't be uh, doing any more for the next probably week and a half. My granddaughter comes over tomorrow, and so she'll be here, and I'm not going to, you know, mess with resin while she's here. I only do this usually when I'm home alone or if my husband's already gone to bed. That way nobody else is in my craft space. But these turned out just beautiful. So when you do put it together, if I don't, it holds your pens. And then this is supposed to hold the phone, which I don't think it will with mine because my phone case, so. And I need to, after it hardens up a bit more, I'll take the deburring tool and take off any sharp edges so it's not damaging the mat or my hands or if the grandbaby happens to try and get anything. All sharp stuff is always kept, you know, put up so she can't get to it. I just keep brushes and things like that that are, you know, easily accessible. A little silicone tools and spoons and, you know, just general little things in here. Nothing that's sharp or anything. She mostly plays in her playroom while she's here, which is, you know, her bedroom playroom. Sorry for rambling. <laughs> still new and still learning, you know, how to do this, what all to say. Y'all have a great day. Thank y'all for watching. Bye.